Okay, so um, I'm going to show you how to take a full season of dual audio anime that is by default set to play on the English language and you want to change it to be the Japanese language with English subtitles. Um, you could also follow these same steps to reverse this process or to use any other language. Um, the only caveat here is that all of the files in the series need to have the same settings as far as which audio tracks are default, um, what the names of the audio tracks are. So it's best that you don't download individual episodes from different sources. Um, so first I'll show... You know, I have, let's see, the, the first episode of this anime, at the dessert. Mark, even in Midland's castle town, I can't take it. Ever since Griffith became king, I've lost all hope. Okay, so that's obviously in English. Um, I'll jump to episode eight. Any sign of the enemy? Nothing at all, sir. <laughs> okay, so obviously also in English. Um, now, what I've done is, I'm, I'm gonna put this in the description, but I have made a sample batch script um, that I'm going to call remux.bat. Um, to make things easier, I've set some variables up at the top, so you can put in your path to MKV merge, and then also the output folder that you want um, the new video files to appear. Um, so let's, first of all, make sure you have MKV Toolnix downloaded. Go ahead and open up uh, the GUI for this. I'm going to drag the uh, first episode over to the video, uh, <clears throat> to the program. Now, looking at this video, you can tell it is currently set to have, you know, it has, it has two audio tracks. It has four different subtitle tracks. Um, I, I'm not actually sure why, but... One of the options that you have is you can actually completely remove one of the audio tracks. So if you if you don't even want the English audio track to, to be there anymore, you can select it um, at this step and you can select no for mux this track. I don't I, I'm gonna leave it alone. I don't wanna I don't wanna make that big of a change, but I'm going to go to the um, the Japanese language audio track and I'm going to set the default track flag to yes. Now, I also want to make sure that one of the subtitles turns on by default because I do not want to have to change that every time. Now what you would probably want to do is look at the different subtitle options and decide which one's your preferred subtitle setting, but I'm just going to go with the first one. Um, because I, I'm not actually, I don't have a preference. Um, yeah, so now that we've done this, uh, we need to, you know, we, we could, uh, we could go ahead and start muxing this right now and it would make a single episode change. And, and theoretically we could do this individually for every, all 25 episodes, but let's say we don't want to do that. Let's say we want to do this in a batch script. So if you click up here on the merge tool. Um, there's an option here for show command line. Now we're going to go in here and what I'm going to do, um, first of all, we need the path to MKV merge and this just so happens to give us that. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this and I'm going to paste it right here just as it appears. Um, I'm also, while I'm, while I'm filling out the variables, I'm gonna just copy this folder path from, from the Explorer. I'm gonna make a small change. I'm just gonna 
put a space a space there. Um, that should be fine. Okay, so there's a couple things in here that we're going to ignore. If you look through this code, it, it calls MKV merge. It sets the user interface language to English, which is the default language, so we don't need to specify that. Um, we I've already actually got the output parameter taken care of, so um, I'm just using the simple O, and then I've got the output folder variable, and this um, this command right here will select. It'll keep the name. It'll preserve the name of of the existing document. So w what we're going to end up with is we're going to end up with another folder that has all of the files from this folder um, named exactly the same way, except the audio tracks will change the defaults. Um, so we need to copy some of the information from here. We're going to start on the default track tab. Now we're going to skip the um, language undetermined tab because we don't we don't necessarily need to define that. We're defining it as something that is undefined and that doesn't make sense. Um, and then we're also going to skip the track name because we don't want to apply the episode one track name to all of all of the tracks here. So we're going to start with with default track. Um, yeah, and we're going to go all the way to this last quotation after SRT. Um, but sorry, not not after SRT because there's more than one SRT. We're going to do the last quotation before it does the um, the file path to the output location or to the input location. This is actually this is where it calls for the input. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and, and and paste this, and now we can kind of just review that, make sure it's correct. Um, so we have default track, zero is yes, um, which we want. Um, language one, Japan, track name, blah, blah, blah. Default track, yes. Um, English audio, no default track flag, so it's not uh, declaring that it needs to be a default. And then the English subtitle options are mostly the same. Okay, this is our our input. So um, the way the script works is it calls for for each file it uses a variable of percent percent a, and so it when it runs the first time it's going to pick episode one. When it runs the second time it's going to pick episode two uh, for for each file that it finds. And then the last thing we want to do is we want to get the track order right here. Now again, we're going to skip the title field because this will select the title of the um, episode and we don't want episode one title to be applied to further episodes. So we're just going to replace paste two here with the uh, track order field. And I'm going to trim that white space right there. Now, the last thing that we need to do is this this editor assumes that you're going to need to use these exit characters and and we don't need to use them now you could also if you wanted to switch to the linux slash unix shells setting um then it would give you single quotes instead of double quotes and what you would do is when you go to edit replace you would put in the single quote and then replace it with a double quote um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it like this, but I'm going to put the caret symbol and leave replace with empty. And I'm going to click replace all. So this will just trim all of the, the carrots out of, of the script. It's whichever you prefer to do. Um, it defaults to the Windows options, but um, you can also use the Linux slash Unix options as well. And... Now that we have this all set up, 
um, I'm going to save it. And let's run it. Okay. Um, so if you if you wanted to look, you could kind of look and see that it is running this command um, as we expected it to run. And this is actually the, the first section of it. So it's calling MKV merge. It's going to output a file in this location with these settings based on this file. Um, so I'm going to navigate to that folder. That will be right here. And let's wait for this to finish. Um, I'll let it do the uh, the first two episodes, and we'll just make sure that it is correct there. So this first one took about 57 seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and open it. Let's try to find that scene we found earlier. Um, so that worked as intended, and um, I just I want to I want to let the second episode finish and just show that you know we we used the first episode here, so it's not that impressive that it worked, but I, I do want to show that the exact same settings applied to the second episode will will make the same changes as well. あの、Um so yeah, that's it. If you have any um any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. I get notifications on those. I will eventually see them and reply to them. Um other people who who view the video um have will probably be helpful as well if I take a while to get to something. So uh, please ask questions, and if there's anything else that you would like a video on, let me know, and I can um, I can try to learn that um, if I don't already know how to do it, and I'll make a tutorial for you. Um, thank you for watching, and have a nice day.